Hey now, so uh, I'm trying to do something a little different with this project. I'm going to try to document it as best I can. So what I plan to do with this little 1923 84mm 205K is um, I am going to completely break it down. I'm trying to, my first, uh, my plan A is to repair the scales. I'm going to fill all the holes and cracks, all of this where the uh, outline of the shield used to be. I thought about trying to put a modern outline of the shield, but the shield was much uh, squatter, like shorter back then. So it, it really won't look good. I'd have to like cut it down and then that's gonna look terrible. So what I plan on doing is leaving just the cross, filling the rest of this in with a, a colored epoxy that hopefully will match it very well. I'm even going to fill the holes the pins go through and then I'm going to re-drill it because what happens to this uh, fiber material over time is people call it shrinking, but actually expands. That's why it bubbles up in the center like this, like right there. It's actually popped up away from the scale and that's because the scale has actually stretched lengthwise and that excess length has to go somewhere so it buckles up it's just like a uh, piece of plywood uh, flooring if you laid down some flooring and then it rained before the roof got done uh, the plywood might absorb the, if it's if there's not space at the ends for it to expand it'll buckle rather than just expand smoothly and the, because the pins hold the leather in place or the fibers sorry it uh that's exactly what happens so my plan is to fill the holes then I'm going to uh, sand the back of the scales perfectly flat so it lies flush with the liners. And then whatever shape is left on top, I'm going to sand that smooth too. And then re-drill the holes. This is all theoretical, of course. It might be a disaster. Uh, but I have a really sweet backup plan uh, that hopefully I won't have to use. I'd rather keep these scales. But if not, I'll keep them as the side for like a momentum and and uh, a memento, not a momentum. What the hell's a momentum? And, uh, you know, because the important part is that the tools are intact. So since the tools are intact, the liners, the corkscrew, the bail, all that great stuff, I think the scales are structurally sound enough. I think uh, reinforcing them with epoxy, filling all the holes and re-drilling them very carefully, I think I'll be able to reuse these scales and get end up with an end product that looks extremely authentic but much improved to its current state so let's try it out uh bear with me i'll try to film stuff or whatever it's called when you do it with an iphone as uh best i can but uh there's no guarantee that it's going to come out well so i may have to use pictures in some places because i don't think i'll be able to like film me dr actually drilling out the pivots and stuff i just don't think i have the room to set up the camera in a far enough away to capture everything basically so uh stay tuned and let's check how this process goes this is going to be uh, uh probably a multi-part process so probably a few videos as i go through this all right so step one i got the camera at a pretty funny angle but uh what I'm going to do is, I'm not going to do this on camera because it's in the way, but I'm just doing a demonstration, is first, um, this I believe is just a bolt, so I should be able to just push that out. But what I'm going to do is center punch the pins. And what that will do is hopefully help keep the drill bit straightened. Oh, that slipped. Yeah, that's not working on that one. Let's try it on a different one. Yeah, that's not working at all. So I will uh, take care of this and then I'll come back to when the uh, when it's done. But basically I've got a 2.25 millimeter drill bit and that's going through the tops of these roads to get them out. Sorry, I got the fan running. It's kind of hot today even with the air conditioning on uh, while you're working, just gets so hot. Um, so what I had to do is since the, uh, the first pin, I put it aside. Oh, here it is. This was not actually a pin. It was, looks like it was actually a bolt that they kind of ground the threads down on and use that. Uh, what ended up happening was I was trying to pull it out. The whole head ripped off the bolt. 
but that actually worked out well. Then I just punched it out the other way and pulled it out from the flared end. Because what they did was drove the bolt through and then they peened the end of the bolt. So it was actually holding it together very well, but it's just not the proper part. But anyway, since that happened, uh, and these are tough to drill, especially without a drill press, uh, since the whole scale was now loose, I just flipped it around and I ground the heads of these pins down. And now they're sticking out the other side and I am just carefully pulling them out with a pair of pliers. And see, there's the pin. So, I, there goes the camera. And that's why I'm not recording too much of this, just what I can to help people out. So my next step in the process is to get this bail off. So what I'm going to do is since the back scale was already broken with bail was, that just came off after those two pins came out. So, and there's the uh, back spring for the blade. Um, so what I did, rather than messing with drilling it out, this is the easy way to get the bails off. When the, without the space of the scale in there, you can just squeeze the bail down a little bit and then grind the head or cut the head off one of these ends and then you can pull it out the other way. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. All right, so now I have the entire knife apart and uh, here is the spring I intend on using. It's just a uh, opening layer spring from a Tinker Small. It's the same size, roughly the same dimensions. Uh, might need a little work, but I'm sure it's gonna work out just fine. Uh, so now I just go and put it back together exactly like it is. Uh, of course not. I'm going to clean all these parts and then tomorrow I'm going to, I will have the stuff arriving, my epoxy and stuff to work on the scales. And, uh, once that gets here, then I'll, uh, be able to, to, to start on the scale. So tomorrow I'll show how the scales are going to work. Hey guys. So, all right, what I'm working on here is I'm basically doing like a pre-assembly of the knife, making sure all the parts work together and making the pins for it. So I'm making the pins out of 2.25 millimeter brass stock. Uh, it's the exact size. It fits, it just perfectly fits through the holes in the lines. The liners and uh, are, tool, are drilled out flawlessly. There is like zero margin for error. Um, there's no wiggle at all, but so what I do to make these pins is I'm sure there's probably a better way to go about this uh, But this is the way I do it um, So what happens is when you first try to put the knife together if you're just using brass stock There's no heads on it So it's just gonna want to keep falling you know pulling through or falling out of the knife it makes it a pain to uh, deal with so like at uh, say at the Victorinox factory uh, their rivets already have a head formed on one end and it's just ready and it's pointed up and they have a beveled tip to make it easier to get the tools on and I do that with my Dremel it takes like two seconds I just give it a quick run around on a grinding wheel if it'll focus it won't and uh and that but before I do what what I first do to get the head on it is I just cut a section uh fairly substantially longer like I'm only doing a two-layer knife I, mainly it's so it's long enough for my fingers to hold it and then I put it on that this uh, little metal jeweler's block and give it a couple taps with a hammer on top. And uh, that will, will uh, blow out the, uh, the head enough so that it holds inside the liner. It'll also stretch out the side that's uh, touching the jeweler's block. And so then I bevel that down to this nice point and it makes it easier to put everything together. And I'll also, uh, sometimes I'll stagger what lengths they are so that I'm not fighting to line them all up at the same time. So I'll have two that are slightly shorter and two that are about the same, that are a little longer so that I only got to line up two at a time. And then there, two holes are in place when I'm lining up the other two. Trust me, if, you're, if you've ever put a knife together, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. It starts getting a little uh, hard to push everything together. You got to get everything layered. Then you got to get everything tensioned and and it all wants to spring apart until you finally got it secured. So I just wanted to throw that in there. Uh, who knows, might not even make it in the video, but that's how I'm making the pins. So uh, right now I'm going to put all the, 
uh, parts together as best I can. I can't do it with the camera in a way, like I just can't do it. But um, you can see what's going on here. So I've got the next pin I just made here. So I'm putting that there. Yeah, I didn't put it enough of it. See, that's I cut. I ground the wrong end on. I ground the end that I uh, peened out to flared it out. And I ground that end off. I am a knucklehead. But anyway, I'm gonna put the knife together, and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be back. All right, ready for another update. So as you can see, I have the knife all fitted together. Everything fits together as it should. All the springs are springy. All the knives are knifey. All the cans are can opener -y. So uh, it's pretty much ready for scales. Um, so what it is now, basically it has to wait like this uh, only because tomorrow I have uh, my epoxy and colorant and stuff coming to uh, hopefully repair the scales. So I'm gonna set this aside for now. What I'm gonna do is, uh, uh, I don't know, if you've ever put one of these together, you know, it's it, going to move it. It can easily just come unsprung and you gotta get it back together. So uh, I will tape it with electrical tape and then put it to the side so it doesn't get messed up. And then that way, tomorrow I can put, I can just uh, push the pins back out through the back. This, the whole time I'm doing this, it'll still be able to taped. I'll push the pins through then put the scales on, trim the pins and peen them. Hopefully, well, that's after tomorrow, after I, if I get the scales fixed. If I don't get the scales fixed, I'm going another route, but either way, it's gonna be really cool. So uh, uh, stay tuned, uh, look forward to part two coming uh, later this week, sometime next week. All right, thanks, bye. Petey Cruz out.